Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing y'all how I use these gaming wood blocks to create a maze-like wall decor piece. I had no specific pattern. I'm just simply gluing a block anywhere. If you are going to recreate this project, I suggest using a stronger adhesive so it can last over time. I don't know if y'all can see all this dried up excess glue, but I'm going to peel all that off before taking it outside to spray paint. So I'm outside now and this is how the piece is looking so far and I'm using my black semi-gloss spray paint to cover it. I'm placing this metallic tape over some of the wood blocks. I flipped my wall decor piece over to add these popsicle sticks that I already had on hand, which all I did was paint it one side with my black acrylic paint. And I'm adding these to the back for more stability. Once I was done with this step, I removed any excess glue strings. And just like that, this is how it turned out. This project was very quick and easy to make. I love how the metallic tape gives off a mirrored look. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. On to project number two, I have a variety of items that I already had on hand, which most of these are from the Dollar Tree. And these gems will be used for my vase fillers, which I purchased these from Amazon. And these are from the Dollar Tree. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is clean my vase off. Then I'm gonna add some of these pink gems to the candle holder and then glue it to my vase. Now I'm adding a mixture of the gems. Now I'm using that same metallic tape to create vertical lines around my vase. I'ma put the push light on top just like this, then remove any excess glue strings, clean my mirrors and my glass off, and then here's the final look. Just look at how this face turned out. I think the metallic tape combined with the gems give this face a very glamorous look. But tell me what y'all think down in the comments. So now we on to project number three. And I'm basically repeating the same steps as I did for project number two. And I'm simply just placing the tape wherever my hands allow me to go. Okay, so for this vase, I'm adding the push light, which would appear to be at the bottom of the vase. Mm -hmm. 
I added a flower candle holder on top and a beaded necklace to hide the glue and then this is how it turned out. I'm loving how this vase turned out as well. It's giving very much pineapples. These vases can be created with or without glue and I think I did a pretty good job with these vases. But tell me what y'all think. Please like, comment, and share. And if you're curious to see what else I can create, hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you don't miss my next video.